What are you doing? Fishing. What? I need some seaweed. Well, at least, okay. Okay, you know, you should really Roll. stop. No, I'm, you're, you're good. You should really stop that. Did you know that, like, overfishing is a serious problem in the world today? There are, like, living things in the water, and I'm getting them out. Yes, which would be the definition of overfishing, taking things out of the water. Have you ever jumped in there and then something like nips you? Yeah, that's why I don't go in the anything that has or living things in it. <laughs> sharks? 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 Is, that, is that what that was? <laughs> yeah, I'm, trying, I'm like scared of sharks. Oh. And, you know, they just like... Uh-huh, okay, that's not necessary. <clears throat> uh-huh. Um, I think we should overfish. But then you have problems because, you know, there's habitats and ecosystems and little tiny plankton -y things and then big things. They got to be little things. It's a whole big issue. It's a whole big deal. As long as the jellyfish don't cr go crazy, I don't care. Okay, well, here's the little interesting fact because if you, like, when overfishing occurs, then all the jellyfish go crazy and, like, mm. way populate that area. No, no, no. Yes, you, yes, yes. You know what happens when they sting you. And not good. It hurts. Uh, and you have to take care of it. Yeah, it's yeah, really gross, really, really yeah. gross. I don't want that. Mm-hmm. You need to just take, take a little. There we go. It's way better. Um, yeah. Um, okay, but then you shouldn't be overfishing. No. No, because... Overfishing leads to excess of jellyfish, except there's one exception. Well, maybe probably mm -hmm. more than one exception. Yes. But one exception that I know of. Really? Yes. Namibia. 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 <gasps> exactly. I know. Just blew your mind. Get your passport. Namibia. We're not going to Namibia. I can overfish. Wait, why can I overfish in Namibia and not here? Because there's this other kind of fish called the bearded goby, which sounds strangely like I don't know what. Something yeah. weird. It sounds like a like an elk or something to me, but it's not. It's a fish. Um, and they come in and take care of the whole jellyfish issue. And then, like, all the bigger fish mm -hmm. could eat them. And, like, the birds and stuff. Ooh, birds. Yeah. So you get, like, the bearded goby become, like, the keystone species mm -hmm. of this new happy environment. I guess so, yeah. So we can... So they, they're keeping the... We need some but bearded then, goby. I mean, I guess then you, if you think about it, then you just end up with a lot of bearded goby. Not if you have the other things eating them. This is true. The tuna. Mm-hmm. I could fish here if we had bearded goby to feed the fish that I'm fishing for. You should go to Africa, go I to Namibia, and get yourself, you, I mean, I guess you need two, male and female, bearded goby. Yeah. And then you can just go to town. Populate. Eating, eating sushi all the time. Yeah. Yep. I hope eating the seaweed isn't a problem. I don't know about that. Or the rice. Well, you don't always have to put rice. You don't have to. Just cut that open and roll that up and yeah. there you go. So, for more information. You're totally in my shot. Like, this is, this is the money. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Thanks. Anyway, for more information about bearded goby overfishing, jellyfish and sharks and his apparent fear of them, you should tell us what you think about all these things at scientificstation.com. And wait, did we say who we are? No. Brandonovich. So am, little s, big A, little m. That's my name. It's my alter ego. Little S, big A, little.